Hi Dinkum ears. Looking to boost your early game earnings in Dinkum? Well, I've got three foolproof methods that will ensure you a steady stream of income from day one. Method number one, the fruit farm. Fruit farms stand out as an excellent passive income in Dinkum. Requiring no watering or maintenance, they consistently yield fruit regardless of the season. Currently, there are four types of fruit trees in the game Apple, bush limes, quandons, and bananas. Additionally, coconut trees function similarly, but coconuts can't be cooked to increase their sell price. Here are the raw prices for each fruit. Apples are 107 dinks, bush limes 90, quandons 110, bananas 248, and coconuts 261. While coconuts fetch the highest price raw, cooking fruit with a windmill, barbecue, or billy can can significantly increase your profits. Cooking fruit prices are as followed. Cooked apples, 390 dinks each, Cooked bush limes are 190 dinks, cooked quandons are 220 dinks, and cooked bananas are 290 dinks. Alternatively, you can turn fruit into jam, which requires 10 fruit and sells for a consistent 3,100 dinks. This will increase your profits for everything except apples. For optimal results, consider planting a large apple farm and cooking the apples with barbecues and windmills for maximum efficiency. Method number two, metal detecting. Metal detecting offers lucrative returns through a more active process. You'll need the excavation and metal detecting licenses a metal detector, shovel, and a weapon for breaking containers. Decide what to sell and what to keep, considering some items are critical for later game crafting recipes. To maximize profits, sell items in stacks of 50 to Jimmy for a 50% boost in dinks. Shiny discs can also be sold to Franklin for 8,880 dinks each, and you'll also unlock new recipes doing that. And before we get to method 3, if you're enjoying the video so far, why don't you give us a like or a subscribe, it really helps out the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Method number 3, Animal Trapping While often overlooked, animal trapping can be a game changer. Instead of transporting animals to animal collection points, use the passive animal trapping method. Purchase a hunting license, craft some cages and a collection point, and take them to where the animals spawn. For example, setting up near wary moose, you can create a passive trap by surrounding the collection point with animal traps. When an animal chases you into one of these traps, it'll automatically be shipped to the research center without the risk of cage damage or the need for transportation. Place your passive trap in a high traffic area, and you might catch and ship animals even when you're somewhere else on your island. And if you made it to the end of this video, I have a bonus tip for you, and that is coconuts. Coconuts can be found on the north of the map. If you take a coconut and bury it into the ground, it will create a coconut tree. When harvested, this will drop three coconuts. Each coconut sells to John for 261 dinks. Or alternatively, you can take 10 coconuts and stick them in the billy can. This will make a coconut drink, which sells for 2,695 dinks, which works out to be 269.5 dinks per coconut. You can make these margins wider if you purchase the commercial license and you sell to Jimmy in stacks of 50. These methods should help you rank in extra dinks early in game. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I'd like to specially thank our Lord members for this month. Wendy Norman, LJ, Sue Lee, Benny Elementrix, Giovinco, and Ariani. Thank you for supporting our channel. And if you like this video, why don't you check out one of our other guides? like the most efficient way to collect old keys in Dinkum.